with five anger and frustration heating up on this blistering hot day at an apartment complex near the strip. Oh, it's absolutely disgusting. You know, like, you know, they even her, it's, it's unfortunate. She has to boil water to clean herself. People living at the Las Palmas apartment say they've had no running water and an unreliable air conditioner. We got to the bottom of what's going on because when you ask, we investigate. Yeah, certainly a tough situation there. And Contact 13 investigative reporter Joe Bartels right now is live near Paradise in Twain. And Joe, what have you found? Well, Todd and Carla, we have learned a lot about this aging property that was built back in the 70s. I want you to take a look right here. It says exciting changes coming soon, but folks living here at the Las Palmas apartments say exciting is not exactly the word they would use. For the past week or so, the water service has been cut off for at least 10 hours a day, several days a week, according to residents. Others say when the water does work, they've been without hot water, forcing some to warm water on the stove to bathe. Other grievances include air conditioning that barely works in parts of the complex and maintenance requests that are not handled in a timely manner. Today when I come home from work, I don't going to be able to take a shower. Why? Because we don't have running water in the shower. We don't have running water for the toilet. I think we should get some kind of rent reimbursement. I mean, they should pay for my air conditioner that I just paid for. That was $400 out of my pocket. And like I said, there, you know, there's a lot of people that have to suffer through this because they can't afford that. Contact 13 saw a ton of work going on all over the complex today. Management did get back to us right away. They say the new owner purchased the property last year and is pouring almost a million bucks into enhancements. That includes a complete overhaul of the plumbing system and dedicated air conditioning units for every single apartment instead of the old fashioned chiller air chiller that they had. They also admit that this is a massive project and they have run into complications. So they're asking folks to bear with them, um, but they are working on the fixes. And this is a reminder, if you run into similar problems, you do have rights as a tenant. You can go to our website, ktnv.com. We have details on all of that. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News. All right, thank you, Joe. And as always, if you have a problem that you want us to check out, you can send us an email to 13investigates at ktnv.com. And please include your name and your phone number. Well, as we know so 